Chapter 4 We study general models of algorithm of which the most basic is the Turing machine a rather simple extension of string manipulation devices of chapter 2 which turned out to be surprisingly a general frame work of describing arbitrary algorithm. It's harder to know as church Turing thesis we introduce more and more elaborate models of computations more value powerful variants of Turing machine even a random access Turing machine and recursive definition of numerical functions and show that they are all precisely equivalent in power to the basic Turing machine model the following chapter deals with undecided ability the surprising property of certain natural and well-defined computation of tasks to lie probably beyond the each of algorithm solution suppose that first you are asked whether we can use tiles from a given finite list of basic shapes to tile the whole plane agar shape of contains a square the set ka jo shape hota hai wo agar square rakhta hai or even any triangle agar koi ek triangle bhi rakhta hai then the answer is absolutely yes but tam what if it consists of few by zero shapes agar by zero shapes hain or if some of the shape are mandatory or kuch mein unme se bhi hain that is they must be used at least once Commas can make the for using a first one the tiling to qualify. This is surely the kind of complicated question that you would like to have answered to the machine. This is surely the kind of complicated question that. Cannot be solved by computer. Turing machine to prove that this and many other problems cannot be solved by computer at all. Even though when a computational task is an amenable to solution by some algorithm, it may be the case that there is no reasonable fast, practically feasible algorithm that solve it. In the last two chapters of this book, we show how real life com Computational problems can be categorized in terms of their complexity. Certain problems can be solved within reasonable polynomial time bounds, whereas others seem to require amount of time that grow astronomically exponentially. In Chapter 7, we identify a class of common, practical, and mutually difficult problems that are called and be complete. We establish that that all these problems are equivalent in that. If one of them has an efficient algorithm, then all of them do. It is widely believed that all NP-complete problems are of inherently exponential complexity. Whether this conjecture is actually true is the famous NP problem. One of the most important and deep problems facing mathematician and computer scientists today. This book is very much about algorithms and their formal foundations. However, as you are perhaps aware, the subject of algorithm, their analysis and their design is considered in two-day computer design curriculum quite separate from that of the theory of computation. In the present edition of this book, we have tried to restore some of the unity of unity of the subject as a result. Result ke taur par, this book also provides a descent. Ye descent provide karegi if somewhat specialized and unconventional introduction to the subject of algorithm. Algorithm and their analysis are introduced informationally in chapter 1 and are picked up again and again in the context of restricted model of computation studies in chapter 2 and 3 and of the natural computational problem that they spawn this way when general model of algorithm are sought later the reader is in a better position to 
appreciate the scope of the quest and judge its success algorithm play a major role in our experience of complexity as well because there is no better way to appreciate a complex problem than to contrast it with another amenable to an efficient algorithm the last chapter culminates in a section on a copying with np completeness where we present an array of algorithm techniques that have been successfully used in tracking np complete algorithm computation is essential powerful beautiful challenging every expanding and so it is theory so is its theory computation is essential powerful beautiful challenging this book only tells the beginning of an exciting story it is modest introduction to a few basic and carefully selected topics from the treasure chest of the theory of computation we hope that it will motivate its reader to seek out more reference and under each chapter point to good places to start